Welcome everybody to the Joe Wentz Project TV. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I'm going to review this little gadget right here. It's called the Chromacast Michelangelo Batio String Dampener. All right. Uh, I've seen him use these for I don't know quite a number of years. Jennifer Batten as well. Uh, if you're not familiar with Michelangelo Batio, Google him and Jennifer Batten. You'll see them using these all the time. Uh, he's uh, got a patent on this. So it does exactly what it says. You know, this is without. And this is with. So you can't do nothing with open strings if you were wanting to. Right? So I've been so used to doing the crossover technique. The Put your hand over here and kind of do the legato thing that way. So. I just got this a couple weeks ago, and believe it or not, I found it, of all places, walmart.com. Uh, it got delayed a few extra days when it, before it got here, but that's okay. Um, but let's give this a shot. I just want to let you see the difference, you know, and, and uh, it really helps you with your legato technique and not have to pick so much because I can't do the, the sweet picking or the fast picking. So I do legato thing, right, if I can speak. So, all right, let's try this and uh, see what you think. Don't go anywhere. As you can see, I'm still getting used to this thing, um, but it works. It's just, it takes, for me, it takes a little getting used to for flipping it up, flipping it down, as opposed to what I used to do, which would just be, you know, uh, I don't know, but it, uh, it does work. I mean, it really does help it man, it's, it will, uh, make you strengthen up your left hand as well. Uh, but I like it. I really do. The only thing that you had to do as far as uh, unscrewing something or whatever is the uh, truss rod cover. That has to come off. Um, if you Google Michelangelo Batio uh, string dampener, he says that, right? Of course, this is the uh, Zach Wild Epiphone, and I had to take the truss rod cover off because if you don't, it's going to bring it up some, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on your string and it's going to make them want to pop out of the nut and all that. So, uh, took the truss rod cover off, put it on. It's very simple. And, uh, I found this on homeart.com, like I said, and I think it was for under $20. Incredible. So it's a great little tool to have if you want to incorporate it in your playing style. Um, 
teach his own. I like it. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep using it for a while. Now, it would not fit on my uh, Wolfgang standard. It wouldn't fit there because of the way the neck is up here. But this will also fit on a Stratocaster. I saw a guy do that on YouTube as well. And there's no truss rod cover on a Strat. So you don't have to worry about it. But uh, Les Paul or a Strat, you're good to go if you want to try one of these. I'll see if I can put the link below uh, if you want to click on it and check it out for yourself uh, to purchase one. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time, keep on rocking, man. See you later. Bye-bye.